Welcome back to another Express session. Today, I'm your host, and we're talking about the fish pad. What is it? And most importantly, do you need one? Stick around for the answer. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe below to support the channel. The fish breed has been one of, if not the most popular board for Channel Islands over the last couple years. I have two actually, and it has spawned a whole collection of accessories. So when I picked up my boards, I couldn't help but think, does it actually need a tail pad? Because like that tail, right? And it's a fish. So shouldn't I be soul arcing my way in a beaver tail next to Donovan while Rasta merges his soul with the Great Barrier Reef? Rasta, we love your surfing, by the way. Surfing is all about its etiquette, so shouldn't a fish be padless? Just you and the board, becoming one. A few points here. Is the fish beard truly a fish? Britt talks a lot about how he married the neckbeard 2 outline with the CI twin and the CI fish. Second, since you purchased the board, and in my case too, technically shouldn't you be able to do whatever you want with it? Heck, put 20 pads on for all I care. It's your board. Whatever helps you have the most fun. And finally, most important of all, if you're like me, you can't surf without a pad at all. My backflip slips right off. A pad is a must. Maybe next time, beaver tail. It's a sweet thing when a company makes its own accessories. Even sweeter when it's product specific, or in this case, board specific. Enter the fish pad. A tail pad made specifically for the fish beard. And it's actually got a decent amount of tech built into it. Let's break it down. Okay, so right away you'll notice it's a smaller kick than what some of us are used to. And that worried me at first, but I had no problems here. My foot didn't slip off at all. Love the arch. I have the highest arched foot known to mankind, so this is always a must whenever I'm looking for a tail pad. There's some vertical grooves you can see here, but they can only be felt when you're not in a pair of booties. So for me, that's only in summer or fall. This one comes in three pieces, two colors, and my favorite part here, the thing I noticed most of all, was that this is all captured in two and a half millimeters, which means I get all the board feels still. I've been using this for a few weeks now, and it's fine. Nothing bad, but also nothing game changing either. So how did it do on the scoreboard? Let's pull it up. We're going to start with functionality. I think more kick is never a bad thing. Give me this exact pad plus the kick off Parker's signature, and it's perfect. Moving on to style, this thing looks so good. This green with these logos, I'm into it. So then value, the CI website has it up for $44.99. Worth it? Yeah, considering I can't surf my $1,000 board without it. Not a bad purchase. Are there other pads out there? Yep, some really good ones too but this has matching logos and a sexy color scheme. Yeah, I bought one and I'm keeping it. All right, that's it for today's express session. Have something you want us to review? Leave it in the comments below or tell us in the water. We'll see you out there.